Welcome to Java Quiz Series. Is JVM platform independent? You have option A, S, option B, no. Well, you have 5 seconds to answer this quiz. Well, the answer is no because so JVM is basically platform dependent and each operating system like Windows, Linux, operating system have their own specific version of JVM. Well, when you convert a Java code into bytecode, bytecode is basically platform independent, but JVM is platform dependent. All the operating systems have their own specific version of JVM and that JVM will basically run the bytecode on that particular platform. Can you run a Java program without JRV? Option A, S, Option B, No. Well, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. You can comment your answer in the comment section. Well, the correct answer is no. You cannot run a Java program without JRE. Well, JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment and in order to run the Java program or a Java application, you have to use JRE. Well, JRE includes a JVM, core libraries and other components necessary to run the Java applications. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is a question. What does the equal equal operator compare in Java objects? Option A values, option B, references, option C, hash codes, option D, fields. Well, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. Well, the answer is references. In Java, equal equal operator compares the memory addresses or references of the two objects, not their contents. If two object references point to the same memory location, then equal equal operator returns true otherwise it returns false to compare the actual content of the two objects you should use the equals method the equals method is used to check the actual content of the two objects and it can be overridden in your classes to compare object properties please here is a one more question what is the default value of int data type option a 0 option b 1 option c null option d undefined well, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. Well, the correct answer is 0. In Java, the default value of int data type is 0. This default value is automatically assigned to an int variable if it is declared as a class member or instance variable and not explicitly initialized. Local variables in methods, however, must be explicitly initialized before use they do not receive a default values. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is a one more question. What data type can store a single character? Option A, string. Option B, byte. Option C, char. Option D, int. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. Well, the correct answer is option C, char. In Java, the char data type is used to store a single character. So char is basically a primitive data type. It represents a single 16-bit encode character. The char data type can be used to store any single character such as letter, digit, functional mark or a control character within a single code. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is a one more question. What is the default value of boolean in Java? Option A. 0, option B, false, option C, true, option D, undefined. Well, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. Well, the correct answer is option B, false. Well, in Java, boolean is a primitive data type and it basically has a two values, false and true. And the default value for a boolean data type is false. Alright. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is a one more question. Which loop construct in Java is the best suited when the number of iterations is known? Option A, for loop. Option B, while loop. Option C, do while loop. Option D, break statement. Well, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. Well, the correct answer is for loop. When the number of iterations is known, the for loop is best suited in Java. It allows you to specify the initialization condition and increment decrement in a single line, making it ideal for iterating a known number of times. 
Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. Which loop construct in Java is the best suited when the number of iterations is unknown? Option A, for loop. Option B, while loop. Option C, do while loop. Option D, break statement. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option B, while loop. The while loop is ideal for situations with an unknown number of iterations because it evaluates its condition at the start of each loop iteration. This makes it flexible for looping until a specific condition is met without needing to know the exact number of times the loop will execute in advance. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. Which loop construct guarantees that loop body is executed at least once? Option A for loop, option B, while loop, option C, do while loop, option D, break statement. Well, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. Well, the correct answer is option C, do while loop. The do while loop construct in Java guarantees that the loop body is executed at least once. This is because it checks the condition after executing the loop body, ensuring that body runs at least once regardless of the condition's initial truth value. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. Which statement is used to exit a loop prematurely? Option A. Return statement. Option B. Continue statement. Option C. Break statement. Option D. Exit statement. Well, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. Well, the correct answer is Option C, break statement. Well, the break statement is used to exit the loop. The loop can be for loop, while loop, or do while loop. Even the break statement is also used in a switch case statements. The break statement terminates the loop and transfers execution to the statement immediately following the loop. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. What is the purpose of continue statement in a loop? Option A. To exit the loop immediately, to skip the current iteration and move to the next iteration. Option C, to terminate the program. Option D, to exit a specific block of code. Well, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option B, to skip the current iteration and move to the next iteration. Well, the continuous statement in a loop is used to skip the current iteration and proceed to the next iteration of the loop. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. Which loop construct is the best suited for iterating over an array or a collection? Option A, for each loop. Option B, while loop. Option C, do while loop. Option D, break statement. Well, you have five seconds to answer this question. The correct answer is option A, for each loop. Well, the for each loop is also called enhanced for loop. It is best suited for iterating over an array or a collection in Java. It simplifies the syntax for iterating through each element without needing to use an index or iterator explicitly. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is one more question. Which keyword in Java is used for a constant variables? Option A, const option b static option c constant option d final well you have five seconds to answer this question the correct answer is option d final well in java the final keyword is used to declare a constant variables once a variable is declared with final its value cannot be modified effectively making it a constant value Alright, in Java, we can use final keyword to make a variable as a constant or a final so that its value cannot be modified or a new value cannot be assigned to a constant variable or a final variable. Welcome to Java quiz series. Here is a one more question. How many string objects created in a below statement? String s yes equal to abc, string s yes equal to new string and then abcd. Option a, one object. Option B, two objects. 
ऑप्शन सी थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑप्शन डी फोर ऑब्जेक्ट्स वेल यू हैव फाइव सेकेंड्स टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट्स द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट क्रिएट्स वन स्ट्रिंग ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज ए बी सी इन द स्ट्रिंग कॉन्सेप्ट पुल इफ इट इज नॉट ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट इन द फुल सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट हैज अ ए बी सी डी स्ट्रिंग लिटल विच गेट्स क्रिएटेड इन अ स्ट्रिंग कॉन्सेप्ट पुल एंड दिस न्यू स्ट्रिंग सो दिस विल क्रिएट अ न्यू स्ट्रिंग ऑब्जेक्ट इन अ हिप मेमरी सो देर आर टोटल थ्री स्ट्रिंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स वेलकम टू जावा क्विज सीरीज हेर इज अ वन मोर क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द प्राइमरी डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्ट्रिंग बपर एंड स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर रिगार्डिंग थ्रेड सेफ्टी ऑप्शन ए स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर इज अ थ्रेड सेफ वाइल स्ट्रिंग बपर इज नॉट ऑप्शन बी बोथ स्ट्रिंग बपर एंड स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर और थ्रेड सेफ ऑप्शन सी स्ट्रिंग बपर इज अ थ्रेड सेफ वाइल स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर इज नॉट ऑप्शन डी नीदर स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर और स्ट्रिंग बपर इज थ्रेड सेफ वेल यू हैव फाइव सेकेंड्स टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन The correct answer is option C. String buffer is thread safe while string builder is not. Well, in Java, string buffer is a synchronized, making it thread safe. On the other hand, string builder is not synchronized, offering better performance in single-threaded scenarios, but it is not a thread safe. 